What's up, I'm Kyle, and this is The Vervet Forest, season two, episode number 11. Today's episode is full of updates on all the different babies. I went home to Los Angeles for the holidays, and when I got back, the babies had already made a bunch of big moves. Please remember to like and subscribe to the channel, and if you wanna find out how you can become a patron or how you can donate to the Vervet Monkey Foundation or buy some awesome t-shirts or photos or anything like that, even come volunteer with us and work with the monkeys, then just check out the links in the description below the video or in the pinned comment at the top of the comments. Also, I just wanna give a quick shout out to a few of my patrons who are the most awesome around. That would be Mac, Mercia Merlot, Catherine Hoffman, Linda, Jim, Linda and Jim, and uh, Chuck and Dai. Thank you guys very much for your continued support. Mrs. Gold, Foxy, and Macy have become a perfect little family. Mrs. Gold spends all of her time grooming and taking care of the two girls, and both Foxy and Macy are absolutely enamored with Mrs. Gold. Paloma and Elena have settled in very nicely with their foster mom, Kara, and they both spend a lot of time running around and playing together inside of the enclosure. Thank you. 
Tommy and Lustique are also doing perfect. Tommy has started mimicking the adult vervet males that he's seen in the troupe. He's standing up on his back legs and he's trying to act all tough and show how intimidating he can be. While I was gone, Dixie's thrush went away, and her and Darcy joined a Robert Troop intro enclosure where they got to meet foster moms Chippy and Elsie. Aww. Chippy and Elsie adore Darcy and Dixie and have become very protective of the two little girls. Dixie and Darcy. Dixie on the bottom, Darcy on the top. As you can probably see, Dixie's not completely using her left arm. Uh, this is because it was injured in a fight between the troop and the bandits, but not to worry, Dixie's going to be just fine. Her arm is healing up perfectly. Eyes? Dixie's so cute. Agree. Baba Cool also overcame her thrush and she was moved with Paco and Diane to a Scro Troop intro enclosure where they were joined by foster moms Polar and Bernadette. The three babies are getting along great and have had a lot of interaction with the troop through the fence. Vera was still too small and not good at the feeding cage yet, so she had to wait behind in Disneyland while everyone else got to meet the moms in the intro enclosures. And she was looking pretty sad to be left on her own. Dave got a call that a new orphan baby vervet monkey had been found on a farm a couple of hours away from here. So Dave and I hopped in the car and we drove a few hours to meet the family who had the monkey. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Morning. How are you? You are. Kyle. Pleased to meet you, nice Kyle. Nice to meet you. Hello. Come on, little guy. Hello. 
It was very quiet the whole way. He was sleeping the whole way here. Yeah. Okay. And I was closing him with his blanket. So I think take his blanket with. Okay. Because like I said, he's used to it now since yesterday. So you say you got him yesterday? Yeah, yesterday morning around about 7. Yeah. And he didn't eat too much. We gave him some pawpaw this morning, but only a little bit. It's a little girl. But I think she's got the mushik now, eh? Yeah. And what? she's biting herself as well. <laughs> Yeah. She's biting us broken in herself. Yeah. Sure. I just know the mother, something happened to the mother. mother. That's okay. that's what I know. Well, it's a little bit older. So, I mean, it's uh, sometimes, and that's why they give a bit more of a problem, because they, they're not used to people mm. so much, and that's why it would mm. start biting to try and get away. I say to you, when I can maybe keep it until um, Lynn and them can come pick them. But then, <coughs> when he started biting like that yesterday, I said to him, uh-uh. <laughs> But for us as well, it's important to try and get them as quickly as possible yeah. because we try and introduce them to mother monkeys. So what mm -hmm. somebody will teach this little guy or her how to drink from the little bottle and feed on her own. As soon as she can do that, we give it to a monkey to look after. And when they get older, the monkeys don't want them anymore. Mm. So when they're still small little babies, everybody wants them, mm. even the, the female monkeys. But once they reach three months of age, not interested no because interest. that's when this one becomes a little teenager mm. and she becomes independent and starts running off and they don't want to be held anymore mm -hmm. and stuff like this so the mothers aren't so keen on them so we got to try and get them to other monkeys before three months of age otherwise it becomes a big mm. long process okay let us start our journey home thank you so much for helping guys thank you, okay. thank you. Guys, no problem through. 1998 that's when it came out where were you in 1998 i remember watching this movie the prince of egypt with my schoolmates, we went on a school trip and we sat there, it must have been about 10 o'clock in the morning and the entire grade there in single file walking into the movie house, they booked everything out to oh, watch well. this movie. Oh, this is so amazing, it's great, it's amazing. Where were you 21 years ago? Were you in primary school? Were you working? If you weren't born yet, let me know. 084-85-00942. Great tunes coming up in the next while. It's Jacaranda FM. The little girl is around four months old and has been named Abby. Another lychee? I don't think so. You kind of were done with that other one, huh? 